In this video, I will show you how to create this simple navbar using React and Tailwind. As you can see, we have these hover effects and this button with the gradient background. And if I scroll down, you can see that we also have the glass background as well. I will be explaining every single line of code and show you how it's done. So let's get into it. So here I have my empty React folder with Tailwind inside. If you don't know how to create one and add Tailwind into it, you can click on the card and watch this video where I create this responsive login form using React and Tailwind. And at the beginning of the video, you can learn how to create a React project and add Tailwind into it. Also, don't forget to install this extension called React Snippets. And this is basically going to give us some shortcuts to create components and this will make our job a lot more easier. So right now we are inside the app.jsx file. Let's delete this div and create a fragment. So before we start to create the navbar, I will create a couple of sections. Let's create a div. Let's make it cover the entire page using minimum age screen which will be minimum height 100vh. Let's set the width to full and position relative. Let's also give it a background gradient to the right. From Fuchsia 500. And there's going to be this red color in the middle to orange. Let's make it a flex container and center the items. We are just going to have some text inside. Let's center the text as well. Inside this div, we're gonna have a h1 and a paragraph. So let's change the flex direction to column because we want them to be stacked on top of each other. Let's put some gap and make the text white. Let's give it some padding as well. So P52 is equal to 208 pixels of padding on each side. Inside this div, I will create this H1. Let's make it a lot bigger. Section 1 and this paragraph. Let's make this one bigger as well. And I'm just going to copy and paste this two more times. And these sections are looking like this. Now we can start to create the navbar. Since we are using React, let's create the navbar as a component in a separate file. Inside the source folder, I will create this component with the name navbar.jsx. Inside this file, I will use this shortcut RAFCE. And this shortcut comes from the React Snippets extension. You can also see the explanation of this shortcut. It is going to create a React arrow function and it is going to export it. And as you can see, we have the component. It also takes the name of the file as well for the component. Let's go back into the app.jsx file. And at the top, I will import this navbar. And let's place it at the top of these sections. Let's go back into the navbar.jsx file. Let's delete this text. So the navbar will be fixed at the top. So when you scroll, it is going to stay at the top. And because of that, we are going to set the position to fixed. Background black. And it is going to be a flex container because we're gonna have this button and list items inside. And using justify between, we are going to put all the available space between those items. Let's center the items as well. Put some gap between them. Padding is going to be 3 on the top and the bottom, which is going to be 12 pixels. And px is going to be 10, which is going to be to the left and to the right, 40 pixels. And let's center this navbar using left 
50% and translate x minus 50%. Let's bring it down a little bit using top 20 pixels. Let's give it rounded corners. And the background is going to have a blur effect. So backdrop blur medium. And also we are going to lower down the opacity as well. Let's make it 60. Text is going to be white. Give it some box shadow. Let's make sure that it stays at the top of everything else inside the page by setting the Z index to 10. Inside the navbar, we are going to create a an ordered list. It is going to be a flex container. Gap is going to be 8 and text is going to be large. Right now I will leave this empty and create the button. Contact. And this button is going to have this gradient background to the right from blue 500 to green 400. Padding UI is going to be 1. So 4 pixels of padding at the top and the bottom. And PX is going to be 6 which is 24 pixels on the left and on the right. Let's give it rounded corners and a box shadow. Text is going to be white and large. Let's increase the font weight as well. And when you hover over it, we are going to change the background gradient colors. So it is going to be from blue 600 to green 500. And also we are going to change the box shadow color as well. So shadow green 500 and shadow blue 500. So now we can create the list items. But instead of creating list items one by one, I will just create this array of items. List items. And inside this array, I will put the list items. Services. Pricing. Blog. And about. So instead of creating list items one by one, inside this unordered list, I will open up a set of curly braces which will allow us to use JavaScript. I will use the map function on this array and we are going to iterate over these items. Let's call them item. And for each of those items, we are going to create list elements and we are going to be displaying the item itself inside this list. And using this function, we basically create six different list elements and we are going to apply some styling to each of them. Because of the hover effect we are going to create, let's set this to position relative and group. Cursor is going to be pointer. We also need to give a key to this list element because we create the list elements using map function and React needs to uniquely identify each of these list elements and because these items have different text inside, we can put the item inside the key and this is not going to create any problems. The reason why I use group on this list element because we are going to create a span for the hover effect. And I want the hover effect to work when you hover over this list element. And to be able to do that, we need to put a group on this list element. So when you hover over it, they are going to apply the hover effect as a group. So this span element is going to have the position of absolute and it is going to be positioned relative to its parent element, which in this case, it's this list element, left zero and bottom minus five pixels. To create the hover effect, we are going to set the width to zero and then we are going to change this when you hover over it. Height is going to be one, so four pixels. Let's give it rounded corners as well. And we are going to apply the same background gradient from blue 500 to green 500. And for the hover effect, we are going to apply this transition. Let's set the duration to 300 
This is going to make the hover effect much more smooth. And because we set the parent elements to group, to be able to hover over them, we are going to use group hover. And we're going to set the width to full. So when you hover over this list item, we are going to set the width of this span element to width 100%. So let's see if it's working fine. And there we go. The hover effects work fine. Let's scroll down to see the glass background. And that is it. So this is how we can create this simple navbar with the glass background using React and Tailwind. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and I will see you next time.